the downhole safety valve. We're looking at here at a tubing retrievable surface controlled subsurface safety valve. The tubing would continue above here up to surface and of course down here to the completion. But let's look at the most important part of it which is in fact the valve itself, the flapper down here. Let me just demonstrate here manually. This is the flapper. The flapper is now open. The flow is trying to come up. If I close it you can see it has shut off the flow. No more flow is possible. This tool is operated by hydraulic pressure. Look here on the side. Here is a hydraulic control line going to the shoulder here and into the tool. Now normally this control line would go up to surface. But here of course I have the control line coming down to a small manifold for display purposes. Let me demonstrate the opening hydraulically of this small tool alongside. It's very similar. Here you see a spring and here the flapper. Watch now as I pump and apply hydraulic pressure. Straight away the flapper is beginning to open. Here it's coming open. Watch the, observe the sleeve coming behind it. That sleeve is going to isolate the flapper from the flow to save it from damage. Also please observe the spring. The spring is being compressed and is now has a lot of energy contained in it. The valve is now fully open. The flapper is isolated here from the flow by the sleeve behind it. Now let's watch while I release the hydraulic pressure and close the valve. Observe the spring is now opened fully. The flapper has closed. Something fundamental about this valve is that the valve is closed by the spring and opened by hydraulic pressure. This is a fail-safe system. In other words, if I'm not applying 10,000 psi from surface, this valve is going to close. I may choose to release that pressure myself, or of course a disaster may take place at surface, a fire, an explosion, in which case the hydraulic pressure will vent if something is damaged and the well will close in. Behind you will observe yet another valve. Now this valve at the bottom is very similar with a flapper. But if we look up to the top, if we move up a little bit, you'll see here there's some seals, which is rather strange. And in fact, at the, there's a hydraulic line going into this tool here. And above it, keep coming up, is a lock mandrel. Now this lock mandrel will fit into a nipple down inside the well. So this subsurface safety valve can be run in the hole on wire line. It has the same purpose to control flow, but it is run on wireline. I've got two other models here which maybe show the system rather more easily. Here we have yet another valve. Let me show you how I operate this one just by hand. There you see it. Now imagine this valve is broken and it is locked in the, that position. It is no longer operating. I have to shut the well in because I no longer have safety control of the well. I will release it for the moment. Now I have this smaller valve. You see here the seals. You see here the lock mandrel which will fit into a downhole nipple. I'll just operate this valve to show you at the bottom there. Again it's the same system. Now what I'm going to do, I have to remove this small handle. I'm going to install this valve on wireline inside the failed safety valve. Here it comes down into the well. I have to operate it there. Here it comes through the failed flapper. And now I have it in position in the well. Meanwhile, at the surface, it's difficult to see now, the seals slightly further up straddle the hydraulic power of the original valve and now I can operate this inner valve from surface. I can now carry on producing my well with downhole safety valve as normal. However, you must realize already this new valve I have inserted is far smaller than the tubing retrievable safety valve. So this would be a temporary repair until the tubing has to be pulled, a workover in other words, to achieve an installation of a new subsurface safety valve. The 
subsurface safety valve.